Hello and welcome to another how-to video from the Computer Techie and today we'll be learning how to uh, reset the password on a uh, Broadcade uh, DS200E or a EMC DS200B I have the B version um, but this works for both of the switches um, quite possibly works for other switches in the range as well but I can't completely guarantee that because it's all very slightly different um, but this is how you do it for these switches um, and hopefully this even though you might not have this one it might help you out somewhere somehow some way if you're lucky this is definitely how you do this um, one reason you might actually be wanting to reset the passwords on these switches is because if you're like me you bought one of these off of eBay and now of course no one gave you the passwords and you have to reset it you have to get onto the control panels change the IP addresses and set up and turn ports on and off and stuff like that so this is how you do it um, I spent about two or three hours last night um, just plain googling consistently and uh, this is the fruits of my labors really all in probably about a nine or ten minute video so your switch should look something like this you will need a DB9 serial female to female cable um, so RS232 DB9 serial female to female it looks something like this and it's effectively just a straight through DB9 cable um, I will leave a link in the description for this particular one off of eBay um, this man or woman they post to the UK, Europe, Australia and Canada and for anyone that's out of that region like the US people then I'm sure you can probably get hold of them easily anyway this is what you need um, be careful because there are ones named mole, no, null modem cables and these are completely different use of something different as well um, so just if you get one of these then it will not work you definitely need one of these the DB9 serial ones which are like straight throughs and also to clarify the Cisco rollover ones so DB9 to RJ45 they will also not work you need specifically one of these so once you've grabbed yourself one of those and you're now back at this video you will need to also grab yourself putty um, putty is a free program off the internet which you can use for telnet ssh um, connecting to com ports things like that very very useful light program and of course it's free so everyone likes free stuff um, so you want to connect now connect your switch to your computer with a com port if you don't have a com port on the computer then you can get a um, usb to um, com or db9 um, like interface connector thing you just plug the USB into your computer install the drivers bang you know com port on like a laptop or something now you can get them for iPads as well if you've got an iPad so once you've downloaded putty you'll want to open it just ignore that window for a second we'll use that in a minute uh, you want to want to go to serial and make sure you've got com1 if you're connected to the com1 port um, generally you are connected to com1 speed is 9 600 your data bits is 8 your stop bits is 1 your parity is none and flow control as none very important and then you want to go to back to session and click serial and then you just click open actually let's get rid of this one that I already have open if yes cool click open now you'll just get a black screen um, quite possible for you to think that it's not actually working all you need to do is click inside it click or tap enter and if you don't know the passwords then this is more or less what you'll get um, good idea to try out the default passwords anyway I will leave a document with all this stuff in it which I found off the internet um, but yeah normally like uh, root and fiber and or F I B R A N N E is the uh, generally the default password for at least this switch anyway depending on how old your model is um, so yeah sorry my microphones are being a bit funny it's starting to fall over there we go cool so and if you do obviously know what the password is then it will should should look something like this and then that's what happens when you log in so we're now going to reset the password what you need to do once you've got everything connected up 
leave your COM1 uh, connection open and with all the information on it, don't close it, make sure everything is still connected. All you've got to do is go and pull the power out and plug it back into your EMC switch. So I'm just going to go and do that now, um, literally five seconds. Okay, once you've done that, you'll want to press escape. As soon as you get that press escape within four seconds, um, you need to be very, very quick at this point, so it's generally good to have the switch next to you, um, just to, for ease of use, really. Unless, of course, you want to try out running across a room or something, then uh, go ahead. Now, once you're at this, then you want to choose option three. Um, Sometimes when you type first of all it doesn't recognize it so you just type three again and then enter and now we're at this point Which is very good You then want to type in I've got to try and remember it now. Here we go uh, You want to type in Where is it? I've written all this down. You need to type in uh, print env and we are looking for this information here, OS loader. That's very important, that bit. And also keep note of the this one as well, HDA1 and HDA2. What you then want to do is you want to type um, boot. And then you want to put this bit of information in. So the ATA, that bit, there. So in PuTTY, you just select it, type or press Control C and then right click, it will paste it in for you. And very important, type minus S. And then press Enter. And it will load the um, OS for you. So just let it do its thing. Boot the operating system. This can take a little bit of time. I get the feeling that this hasn't worked actually. I don't know yet. It can be a funny, funny sometimes. Sometimes you type it in exactly the same way you've done it before and it will either boot into the original OS with all the passwords or it won't um, but the few times I've previously done it it's seems to be fine so we'll just see how it goes yeah it's failed Yeah, so if it does that, just um, do the thing again. Um, no harm in that, really. Um, all you need to do is, again, boot that minus S. Try again. It sometimes works and just sometimes doesn't, so... This looks more promising. There we go, that's exactly what we want. So when we, once we've got to this, we then want to type um, mount uh, minus O, and then um, remount uh, colon, what's, colon? Yeah, one of them, RW, and then one of them again, and then NOA time, space slash, enter. And then you want um, mount slash uh, dev slash HDA2 slash MNT. And that's where that important bit of information that I pointed out above before as well. Um, which is up here somewhere. Uh, this bit here. OS root partition HDA1 HDA2. If you've tried the HDA2 then and it doesn't work, try the HDA1. Again, vice versa, HDA1 or HDA2. Just depends on what's working. But one of them. And then once you've typed that, just enter again. 
and you now want to go and type in uh, slash sbin and then slash pass wdd e f a u l t password default hit enter it will now have reset all the passwords to factory default as you see all account passwords have been successfully set to default and then we want to reboot the system so reboot minus f and that will go through its booting process again don't touch anything at this point until you are prompted to do so with the whole um, login thing and my microphone just fell over again it's not been uh, very cooperative today it's just randomly falling over slightly strange it's still doing it nope still going I could skip this boot process out for you but I'd rather leave it in because then you actually know that this is exactly what should be happening right so we're almost there I just heard the fans power down a little bit I don't think it's finished its boot process yet. Oh no, it has, sorry. Yep. Yeah. Right, so what you want to do now is you want to grab yourself the um, default root passwords. So in my case, this is, as, uh, this is actually um, root. And then, oh god, what was it called? Um, it was f something like Fiber Annie. So F I B R A N N E, Fiber An, or Fibban and then it will ask us to uh, reset the passwords so press enter to proceed with changing the passwords and then we type in the new password for, for, for root and then it will go through and say new password for factory one for admin, one for user Oh, I've done it again. Cool. And then that is it. That is how you reset the password on one of these switches. So, if this video has helped you out at all, or, well, you found it interesting or something, then please give it a big thumbs up. Um, if there's anything that I've missed out or you think I should have put in, then please um, write it in the comments below. Um, any constructive criticism, anything like that, then I'm welcome and open to that. And if you are looking for more of these um, videos on how to do things, things that someone might not necessarily put up, um, like, for example, how to reset the passwords on one of these things, then um, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for all of those good tutorials that I'll be bringing out. So I will see you guys in the next video. And of course, please make sure you hit those thumbs up and subscribe buttons. I'll see you later.